Well, a local hardware shop is trying to get to the bottom of a veteran's missing wallet. How it happened was caught on surveillance video. The question now is what was the intent of the person who left with it? Dearborn Heights Police is encouraging anyone with information to give them a call immediately. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig tells us what was in that wallet that that senior really wants back. It's unbelievable. I'll tell you the truth. It was, I was surprised it happened so, so quickly. Pete Girardi is talking about the seconds it took for someone to pick up his wallet after it fell out of his pocket. It happened here at Studs Hardware on Telegraph near Annapolis in Dearborn Heights. It was sad, you know, he, and he was super upbeat about it, but uh, he's, I just, you know, he was actually going for a medical procedure, so he was worried about his uh, veterans card. 87 year old Pete Girardi is an army veteran and last Friday he had just checked out and was leaving when a young man was coming in on a bike. You then see Girardi's wallet fall out of his pocket. It's important to note, we don't know what the intentions are of that young man who took the wallet, so we're blurring his face. I had my dollar in my hand, okay, and I reached my wallet to put the dollar back on the wallet. And then realized I don't have it, I said, well, I left on the counter for sure. Girardi rushed back into the store saying he left his wallet and didn't notice the wallet, which is black, was on the black rug. Yeah, as he came to the cash register, he said, hey, has anybody seen my wallet? So that's when he looked down, saw the wallet, you know, and pocketed it and then, and then left. The young man who came in on that bike and picked up Mr. Girardi's wallet then walks outside without his bike for a second, appearing to put the wallet in his pocket. He then returns to retrieve his bike and leave without telling anyone he found a wallet. If you find a wallet, you're out in a dark parking lot or something, you don't know who it belongs to. Uh, it's a little more complicated, but yeah, when you when you see the guy and you're looking at him, I mean, that's disheartening for sure. Studs Hardware held off on posting the video on Facebook in hopes that the young man would return to the store. He was looking for some parts, so we needed some more information, so he was going to come back uh, later, he had said, to purchase the parts. So we were hoping that he would come back, and uh, the police told us to call him if he did. Thankfully, Mr. Girardi did not have his driver's license in the wallet, and he says it seems clear he'll have to get a new veteran's ID card. You got all kinds of people now in this world. <laughs> <laughs> you got to accept it. And if you have any information on the person who left with Mr. Girardi's wallet, please call Dearborn Heights Police. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Sure hope that young man brings that wallet back. Thank you so much, Kim.